Hello, my name is Robert Newman. I'm a Harlem-based artist, a Morehouse graduate, and a proud member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. Today I have the extreme pleasure of presenting to Riverside Church the newest painting to their collection, King in the Garden. Thank you to Riverside Church and everyone who was involved for commissioning me to create this new piece of work. King in the Garden was inspired by two main things. One, Martin Luther King and who he was, the work that he brought to, to the world and his community. And two, the idea and, and, and metaphors involved with what it means to be a gardener. The first thing that came to mind when creating this painting was the idea of patience. With a gardener, one must understand that you have to do a lot of initial investment, a lot of seeding, a lot of breaking the ground in order for you or for anyone else to actually get those benefits. And one of the things that I believe about King that I think he knew uh, about his work was that there was a lot of things that he needed to seed that we may not necessarily get within one lifetime. He talked about it in his speeches that he had saw the promised land, but he may not get there with us. But still, King planted. Still, King did the work. And here we are today, benefiting from the flowers uh, that he planted years ago. The second idea that was important to me within this painting uh, can be captured by a quote that I love. It goes, it's better to be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in a war. Now, it's such a powerful idea because it really challenges the idea of how and when and why a person needs to be in times of peace and in times of struggle. It says that it's better to be a warrior in a garden as if to say it's better to know how to fight in times of peace than to not know how to fight in times of war. With King, I feel like he was both the gardener and the warrior because even in times of struggle and war, he understood that nonviolent direct action was a way for us to continue to move the ball forward in a way that we could all learn and ultimately heal from the past trauma that was the Jim Crow South, that was and is racial oppression within our community. The last thing that was super important for me with this painting was this idea that flowers grow. Flowers grow through all types of circumstances, through storms, through wind, through animals, through a million different external factors that are outside of our control. And we can never tell that once we get to the final product. When we see the bloom, when we see the, the actual bouquet, we'll never be able to understand what the flower actually went through to get to that moment. But still, the flower goes through it. And going back to where I started, is really the job of the gardener to plant and to have faith that the universe, the environment, um, will do the rest of the work. That the flower, the idea, the, the hope that we have for, for our community will come to fruition if we would just make that initial investment.